Hello, Owen. Uh, three questions, please, if that's okay. Yes. First question, um, you mentioned already that you will need to be better defensively in this match and that um, you're missing some key players. You're missing turncoat miners, Cody Capo. Um, so what changes will you be making? Um, will you need to find another way um, attacking-wise or will you need to be more defensive for this game against France? No, I don't think we have to be better uh, in defence. Uh, I think we were okay in defence in the first three matches. So I think we have to continue that. Um, and of course there are details that can be better. But uh, mm. in general, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied about the way we defend. Uh, with, the, um, uh, yeah, with the power we do it, with the, with the speed we do it. So that's, that's not uh, the biggest issue tomorrow. We have to improve in... Uh, in ball possession, that's the most important thing for us. Um, don't lose the ball too easy because that can be killing against uh, France. Uh, and then we otherwise find the right positions uh, to hurt them. That's important because we have to hurt them when we want to win the game. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, I think that's what we have to do tomorrow. So um, you obviously, you obviously, like I said, without Coat Miners and, and Hapo, two key players who have gone to the senior team. Um, so what was the communication like with with Frank de Boer when when you were making that selection? Did you have to talk together about it? Did you have to try and do you really trying to persuade him to keep these players? I tried that already in March. It was finished now. No, no, that just uh, we we said from the beginning uh, when you're playing in. Uh, under 21, and when you're coaching under 21, you know you have a certain role, and uh, it's also to uh, to prepare players for the for the national team. And when Frank uh, thinks they are ready, then um, and he can select them. That's no problem. That's that's mm. just uh, the way it goes. And uh, he has to make the the best uh, squad he wants to. He, he can he can make, and he thinks that uh, Komainers and uh, Gakpo should be part of that. So that's. It's okay. Then we have to uh, find a solution with under 21, make another team, uh, re replace the key players. Uh, but that's uh, that's part of the deal of a uh, under 21 coach. Mm -hmm. No compl no complaints. And in any case, it's great to have so much young Dutch talent coming through, isn't it? Do you think the dark times are over now for the Dutch national team? Um, it's two questions. I think uh, I'm happy with uh, with a lot of uh, potential uh, players. Uh, well, for example, we uh, selected now uh, Divine Ranch. Um, and yesterday I was talking to my captain, um, Danny De Witt, and uh, he said the uh, coach is five years younger than, than I am. Mm. Uh, so we talk about our captain in under 21 and, uh, and another player who's four or five years younger. So that's, I think that's very good. That's, uh, that's amazing, uh, even. But, uh, uh, the second uh, thing is. When players are uh, selected for the national team, uh, they have to uh, play a bigger role, maybe. Uh, at this moment, only uh, Matthijs de Ligt and Donjan Mahler are the guys who, who really are playing a big role. I hope Kravenberg will be the next one. But there are also a lot of players who, uh, which, which role can be, hopefully, can be bigger in the, in the future uh, for top miners, for Gakpo. They will make more minutes, uh, be more important, be decisive. And when we can combine that with, uh, with uh, more experienced players there are already, like uh, Wijnaldum and Frankie de Jong and Depay, um, I think we can have a play squad in the, in the upcoming years. Yes, that's for sure. Yes, yes, that's for sure. Um, Michael, Stephen, Christian Nunez. Hi, Danny. Um, so I was wondering what the general feeling is amongst the squad at the moment. It's been a, a long season with a lot, a lot of games. How is the general feeling amongst the yeah, the feeling is okay. We know we have a great player, a great team, so we are ready for the match tomorrow. Um, and I was wondering, of course, uh, Irwin was asked this question just now. You've got three players who play in France, Mitchell Barker, Kai Seahaus, Sven Wattman. Have they been talking about, about the French players, their strengths, their weaknesses? Yeah, of course, we talk to them. Uh, they know a lot of, uh, about the competition and about the players. So we talk to them and they give a few tips, so that's also uh, always good. Nice inside knowledge. Um, and I was wondering as well, what's what's the most important thing for you as players? You're coming together as a squad. Um, you don't see each other very often, um, and 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 a lot of the players tend to change in the under twenty one squad. So I was wondering, what's most important for you guys as a squad? Is it 
more the tactical side of it with the coach or is it more actually the social side and talking together as a team, as friends? Yeah, I think it's both. Uh, of course, the tactical side is really important. Always on the big stage, you have to need a tactical plan. But yeah, we are also friends and a lot of guys are already playing now two years together. So mm -hmm. that's a big part of our team and yeah, that's also really important. I think. Thank you, Danny. Thank you.